Welcome to the fitness court. This is Bobby Parker Hall with the National Fitness Campaign. This workout is called Fit for Life Strength. I'll be guiding you through our seven minute, seven movement full body circuit. For each movement, we will do 45 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest. Let's take a minute to review each of the seven movements before we jump in. The first movement is bicycles at the core station. The squat station is where we will do step up calf raises. The third movement is chest flies at the push station. At the lunge station, we will be doing elevated lunges. Up next, we're doing ring curls at the pull station. At the agility station, we will be doing two-legged hops. Our final movement will be reverse hyperextensions at the bend station. Let's get into position at the core station for bicycles. Lie down on your back with your knees bent and feet flat on the ground. Three, two, one, let's go. Begin by lifting your shoulder blades off the ground and bringing your left elbow toward your right knee. Straighten your left leg out in front of you and simultaneously rotate your torso to the right so your left elbow comes toward your right knee. Repeat the movement, this time bringing your right elbow toward your left knee while extending your right leg. Keep your core engaged throughout the movement to maintain stability and prevent your lower back from arching. 15 seconds left, don't give up. This is a great core exercise and also helps with spine mobility. Three, two, one, rest. Let's move over to the squat station for step up calf raises. Stand in front of a box that is knee height with your feet shoulder width apart and your toes pointing forward. Three, two, one, let's go. Step onto the platform. Push through your heel to lift your body up onto the step. Once you've stepped up onto the box with both feet, shift your weight slightly forward and press up and onto the balls of your feet. Engage those calf muscles to raise yourself on your toes as high as you can. Hold for one to two seconds before releasing. Now step back down to starting position, repeat. 15 seconds left, don't give up. This movement builds lower body strength and helps with everyday movements like getting up from a chair or out of a car. Three, two, one, rest. Let's transition over to the push station for chest flies. Stand between the push rings and the wall facing away from the wall. Grasp the ring holds with your hands. Three, two, one, let's go. With your palms facing down, open your arms out to the side, keeping them at shoulder height. Pause for a moment when your arms are fully extended and then return to the starting position by bringing your hands together in front of your chest. Keep your body in a straight line from head to heels throughout the exercise. Adjust the difficulty of the exercise by adjusting your body angle. Fifteen seconds left, don't give up. This is training your upper body strength, core muscles, and improving posture. Three, two, one, rest. Transition over to the lunge station for elevated lunges. First, stand in front of a lunge step with your feet shoulder width apart. Place one foot on the elevated surface and step the other foot back. Three, two, one, let's go. Now bend both knees, lowering your back knee down towards the ground until it hovers just above the floor. Make sure your front knee stays directly over your ankle and doesn't extend past your toes. As you exhale, push through your front heel to raise yourself back up to standing. Now switch legs and repeat on the other side. Fifteen seconds left, don't give up. Elevated lunges are a great exercise for building strength and stability in your lower body, especially your glutes and quadriceps. Three, two, one, rest. Up next are ring curls at the pole station. 
Position yourself in front of the pole rings facing the wall. Grasp the handles. Take one to two steps back to create tension in the cables. Three, two, one, let's go. Begin by bending your elbows and bringing your hands towards your shoulders, squeezing your biceps at the top of the movement. Slowly lower back down to the starting position and repeat. Remember to breathe throughout the exercise and focus on maintaining proper form. Keep your elbows close to your sides and avoid swinging or using momentum to lift the handles. Fifteen seconds left. Don't give up. Ring curls include strengthening your biceps and core, improving your posture, and increasing your overall upper body strength. Three, two, one, rest. Move over to the agility station for two-legged hops. Get into position by standing in front of the agility ladder. Three, two, one, let's go. Jump up and forward using both feet at the same time to propel yourself forward. Land softly with both feet, keeping your knees bent to absorb the impact. Look ahead and jump to the next set of squares. Use your arms for balance to help you move more quickly. Try to keep your head up and your eyes focused on the upcoming squares rather than looking down at your feet. 15 seconds left. Don't give up. Start with a slow and controlled pace and gradually increase your speed and distance as you become more comfortable with the exercise. Three, two, one, rest. Our last movement is reverse hyperextensions at the bend station. Get into position by sitting on the bend station with your feet secured on the footholds. Three, two, one, let's go. Slowly bend backwards at your hips and lower your torso towards the floor, keeping your back straight and your hands crossed over your chest. Pause at the bottom of the movement, then contract your abs to raise your torso back to the starting position. Repeat this movement. You should be feeling a stretch in your back and abs as you extend and core engagement as you contract. 15 seconds left, don't give up. As you become more flexible, try to reach further and hold for longer. This movement is training your core and working on back mobility. Three, two, one, rest. Workout complete, great job. We just completed a seven minute, seven movement, full body circuit. This circuit can be repeated as many times as you'd like. Don't forget to check out my workout library for additional workouts with various difficulties. This is Bobby Parker Hall with the National Fitness Campaign. I'll see you next time out on the fitness court.